Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about adding third roots with coefficients. Now, third roots are usually called cube roots, so uh, let's talk about when you can add and when you can't add. In other words, when can you combine like terms and when they're not. So when it comes to cube roots with coefficients, let's suppose you have 3 cube root of x plus 5 cube root of y. Now, some folks will make the mistake of combining these right away. 3 plus 5 is 8, and then they'll, they might try to say cube root of x plus cube root of y is cube root of xy. But the fact of the matter is, though, you can only combine radicals if they have the same, if they have the same root and if they have the exact same interior. In this case, because x and y are completely different, you don't really have a choice but to leave the terms as they are. Sorry, but you can't combine them. However, if you have something like this, 3 cube root of x, plus 5 cube root of x as well, then you're in business because they got the same radical, but they also have the same term underneath. That's when you can combine them. It's like 3 tomatoes plus 5 more tomatoes. So 3 cube root of x plus 5 cube root of x is going to give you a grand total of 8 cube root of x. So when you're adding cube roots with coefficients, you have to be sure not only that the exteriors are consistent, but the interior terms are consistent as well. So I'm Jimmy Chang and that's adding third roots with coefficients.